What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you my grounded bass. A um, little bass tour, if you will. It started, well I started the game when it first came out and hadn't really been trying to do anything big or impressive like some of these other guys on YouTube. Um, I was just playing the game and this is the bass that I've built just throughout the game. Just trying to win and beat everything that I can. Um, but coming up to the base, it's, it's a castle made out of mushroom blocks. It's three stories tall. Um, took a long time, actually, because I was not mass producing mushrooms or anything like that. It was just me playing the game, just normal. And this is, like I said, my base. Um, we'll do the outside first. We have these water containers that are hooked up to or right underneath this juice box and the juice box will drip into these water containers and so i pretty much have an ever never ending supply of juice go ahead and get one um the they will fill up and start to overflow so if they are full you'll see like big bubbles of juice on the top you just drink those bubbles first and it all works out good um, around this wall, I used to have these spike strips on the outside, but they were little bugs and insects were getting attacked by it and being aggroed and wanting to attack my base because they ran into the spike strip themselves. Um, so I got tired of things damaging my base for no reason, so I moved the strips inside the wall, uh, which seems to help because now if I do get attacked, and they bust through the wall, they still have to go through these spike strips and I'm not getting attacked for no, no reason. Um, but going in on the inside here, we've got the acorn double doors. We open it and always close it on your way back in so nothing sneaks in behind you. I got the grandfather clock, a little sitting area with the RGB blue or RGB lights behind it. Um, a couple jerky racks, a little cookery area couple refrigerators fresh storages you know all kinds of good stuff in it uh, some ovens this here's my my work workbench area I got the workbench some, some of these grinders spinning wheels glue maker a uh, little pallet storage inside here is all this other storage and again this is just all from me just playing the game um, how I felt I should be playing it. Um, at the time when I first started, you know, I wasn't really thinking about building a big, massive mega build. Um, I just needed something to survive in, and that's this is this is what I came up with. Um, it's just me playing. I don't really play in big groups, so I don't really need a big, big base. Um, just a little one bedroom, if you will. Let me turn on this fireplace here. Got a fireplace built into the bedroom. That's kind of cool. Got the bed, got a little little night table, a little sitting area, a little dew collector so I can wake up and get some, some water in the morning. A little back porch area looking over the pond. Um, I don't have this back wall filled in as I do on the front um, because nothing can get over here. Um, come over here, I got spike strips here, so I think I'm pretty well protected on, on little things sneaking in. Hopefully I can make this. Oh, I didn't jump in time. Dang it. But that's okay. We'll come back over here. I'm working on building a little ramp to get into the water. It's just not finished yet. Um, but until then, we just walk over to this rock, swim over to the rock, and jump in. Um, that's about it on the first floor. Got a couple um, little stuffed mounts here. Pretty cool. Um, but we'll go up here to the second floor. Second floor here is... And again, it still has, has a lot of work to do, um, but it's just something that I've just been kind of messing around with, playing with here in my free time. Uh, got a little armor dummy set up here with a bunch of armors on it. Um, got a little backlights lighting up the dummies. These here don't have any armor on it. That's why I don't have a little funny stance, but these are all set up with different armor sets, and that's why they got the different motions going on. Um, but turn around here, we have the armor wall. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I actually seen this off of someone else's YouTube. I was just kind of checking around YouTube and seeing what videos were out there. 
and I seen this, I was like, man, that's freaking awesome. So I went ahead and built me one. Um, it's not done. I still have a lot of armor still to collect and build. Um, not armor, weapons. Um, but I, I'm, I'm getting there. You know, somebody that's just, just playing the game and not trying to go go overboard with anything. You know, I'm just doing it for fun, not for misery like some people. Some people just spend hours and hours and hours chopping grass and building buildings. And yeah, the buildings look cool and all, but... You know, I didn't think I needed to do any of that. Um, over here, we got some of these uh, bugs, stuffed bugs here. It's just some spiders. Not really what I was go going, not really sure what I was going for here. Just something that I did. Um, I don't have any pets, but I'm ready to get one whenever I do. Um, we'll go back upstairs. This little, it's not finished because I wanted to finish the weapon wall first. But this is how I put the lights behind it. Um, just built the outside wall first. This is like my castle wall. Then I built the interior wall and just put a bunch of bunch of little lamp sconces on the back end of it, and that will light up this area here. Um, once it's all done, I can come around here and set up more lights on this wall here to get that other side lit up that's not lit up. See, like this is lit up and this one is not. But I don't have any weapons over here, so I wasn't really worried about it. Um, but I do have a lot of weapons already. Um, just a couple staffs. I got one staff in my hand now. Um, some shields, stuff like that. So maybe one day I'll, I'll come in here and I'll get it all finished. Um, but that's about it on the second floor. Um, looks pretty cool in the night, in the darkness. And of course, you can change the colors too. Like if you don't like the red... Um, you know, we can, we can change it to whatever colors you want. Uh, up here on the third floor, not really much going on. Just like a little basketball court. I uh, got a couple basketball goals here. I got some baskets here that I'm going to put the, the rocks in for the, for the basketballs. Um, another little basket here. But up here, you can get on top of the juice box. Um, over here, I have um, a weevil and aphid trap that... I plant some mushrooms and I plant different stuff in there and it attracts different bugs and they will climb up these ramps and fall in and they cannot get back out. Um, I don't have anything growing in it yet, anything in the garden. That's why it it's, doesn't have any bugs in it. But once I get something planted, bugs will start going and getting trapped. Uh, we'll go up to this first pillar here. This, this uh, walkway, I built this on when it was still the pre-release game uh, before the updates a couple years ago i built this all i want to say by hand obviously by hand because we don't really have machines in the game but i built this before i could realize you could load a grass pallet up and move the grass pallet with all the, the, the leaves on it already um, I didn't know that when I built this, so I would carry, and I didn't even have any upgrades at the time, didn't have any badges, so when I built this, I was carrying five, maybe six pieces of grass at a time, going up the stairs, laying east square, going back down, chopping grass, coming back up, laying east plank. Ah, that took a long time, but it was a huge accomplishment for me, I felt, and then I realized you could move a whole grass pallet like this at one time, you load this grass pallet up with grass, you move the whole thing, and you have all your grass right there. Which sucks, because I didn't realize that until after I had this already built. Ah, but it would have saved me so much time. Uh, a couple zip lines here. I'm going to take this one back to the house, just so we can see, see what everything is. And you can see the castle at nighttime, too. Which I think is pretty cool. I wish the lights, you could see the lights from further away. But once you get closer, they, the lights do turn on. There it goes. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So I got a zipline here that goes up to Castle Murdoch. I've um, got a zipline here that goes up to that juice box over by the upper yard area. Um, upper yard, man, that's, that's a whole new world up there, man. I'll tell you. Let me tell you. But I'm going to take this zipline back up here. Oh, wrong button. There we go. And these zip lines that go up. What? What a what a great idea. 
man, what a great idea. Because before I had this, I was making zip lines, you know, zip lines going down, and then I had to have a zip line to go back, and it was just such a pain. I didn't mean to spin around. Such a pain. But now you just have one zip line for both directions, forward and backwards. So that is awesome. Uh, but this zip line, it just kind of goes halfway through the yard, pretty much, um, by the mystery machine. Over there is the mystery machine. But I like these zip lines because they're so much better than having to just run through the yard, deal with crazy bugs, deal with getting lost, um, can't see nothing, getting sidetracked. This, you just take a zip line and, and you're there. Pretty cool. Uh, we have different zip lines here. This one goes over to the sandbox. This one goes up to the upper yard. Um, I think I have them connected down here. So let's go here. We'll take this one to the sandbox. And I believe I have a sandbox or a zip line going from the sandbox to the picnic table, from the picnic table to the upper yard. I think. I'm not sure. That's a little marker. I should probably remove that. That was, I do believe, an anthill that for some reason I just had the trouble, hardest time keep remembering where, where it was at. Um, so I put a marker there, but now I pretty much know where it is now. Um, all this was filled in with the haze. I plugged the canister there, Weed Killer 420. That's pretty cool. <coughs> um, but yeah, I plugged that. So you stick a piece of bubble gum in it and it stops the, the fog, the weed killer from coming out. Um, this sandbox, if y'all ain't never been to the sandbox, come prepared. It is very dangerous. Um, very dangerous. It, it blew my mind the first time I was over here. Um, I didn't realize how, I won't say how intense it is. Um, to me, I just thought it was a normal sandbox. So I figured there'd be a couple, couple little things in there, but it, it, it's more than just a couple little things. So be, be prepared when you go in there. Um, this here, my other zip line I was talking about, should go up to the picnic table. This zip line, I do believe, was already built. Um, I just had to fill in the, the, the lines. I think the, uh, the post, the zip line post and the zip line stand was already there. I just had to actually connect them to. So... Does this get me up? I hope so. I should. Yeah, good deal. With a little, little resource area. Um, but let's see. Now that I'm thinking about it, I may not have a zip line that goes over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I do not have a zip line. Um, my other zip line is there's some stairs I made so it's got to be around here somewhere right I still can't get that stupid coltana for some reason I, I just can't get on it or I, I I just can't get it I get to it but them stupid larvas man they they won't let me oh no oh no they won't let me pull it out of the rock without killing me So, all these bees here sleeping, that's kind of creepy. Sleeping bees, don't wake them up. Um, I guess I'll have to go back. I thought I had a zip line, but I don't. I'm trying to see where this other zip line is, but I can't find it. No, I don't want to get attacked by these bees. Uh... Is that it? I think that might be it. Oh no, my controller died. There we go. Oh no, my controller died. Let me change my batteries real quick. That's gotta be it. Hang on. Shit. Oh, I'm fucking this all up. I have to edit some of this out. Okay. 
let's try this here. Put these in. Minus plus. Plus minus. There we go. Back my controller back on. There we go. Hopefully it turns on. All right, we're back in business. Um, so if I jump down, it's gonna be a bitch to get back over there. So I'm just gonna run back over here, take my zip line back the way I know. So I can get try and get attacked by these bees. Not at night time. No way, Jose. So in the comments, let me know what y'all think about my base. Um, I know there's way better out there. I know, I know there is way bigger, way better. Um, but like I said, I was just trying to just do my thing while I was while I was beating the game, and that's that's what I came up with. Um, I might try to do like some kind of awesome mega build, like my boy see through. Um, yeah, I see you putting out them videos, doing awesome. Um, so go check out his channel. I might do something like that, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking about doing another, another game. Um, so again, let me know in the comments what y'all think about my build and let me know what games you guys are interested in and I will start playing those and streaming them and making videos for you guys to watch. Um, just looking for suggestions here. Um, but I'm going to go back up to my zipline area. And go back to my castle. Uh oh, see what I mean? I gotta get out of here. Get out of here. Go, go, go! So look at that big ass thing. Man. And those are real too. Um, it's called an ant lion. And, you know, I never really heard of an ant lion before and didn't really think that the game would make up bugs. Um, but I was actually, what was I doing? I was on YouTube and this guy has real ant lions. I wish I knew it, the channel name. I, I would, I would totally leave it. Um, but he had real ant lions in a, in like a little, little ant cage, ant farm glass container thing. And he puts, he let the ant lions live in there for a little bit to get, get themselves at home and dig their holes and stuff like that. And then he put in real ants and holy crap it's just like the video game where the the ant lions will dig the holes and stay in the holes and then the ants will walk by and the ant lion will pop out and grab the ant um they even throw throw stuff at them um throw the sand like they do in the video game um so these creators they, they did a real good job of going with the real animals and doing what they really do so that's pretty cool good for them But yeah, going back to my base here, to the castle is what I call it. Um, just let me know what you guys think about it. If you like it, if you think I should change something, if I should add anything, let me know what you think. Um, and I think that's about it. Sometimes I'll just sit up here and just kind of look out, uh, make sure nobody's wanting to attack my base. So I think that's it. Thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.